I'm recording this at three o'clock in the morning, but that doesn't matter because evil never sleeps and dummies never really understand the concept of going to bed. And no matter the rain, the snow, the sleet, or the shine, I will always be here as the doctor, professor, philanthropist, gynecologist, veterinary, cafeteria lady with the big double D titties. As serves you that slop on Mondays, professional dog walker, Burger King, onion ring, connoisseur, McDonald's protester. Put a pin in that protester part because that's the topic of the video. Dildo expertise, clit finder, San Francisco 49er cheerleader, WNBA water boy, the first black transphobic wizard in the Hogwarts universe, according to Twitter, sexiest black YouTuber, and now greatest chef on YouTube, subscribe to the cooking channel, here with the civic duty to teach the young minds on how to not be stupid on social media. Today's class, three words, one phrase, protesting and human rights. A convoluted set of circumstances you wouldn't really think needed to be addressed in a class like this, but oh, it does. We understand all the conflicts going around across the country. We all sometimes think to ourselves, I wonder what I could do to help. And we all think of these convoluted ways that we could help across the waters to help all these people in need because I think, and this may be the most controversial opinion of all time, Innocent people should not be dying. I know, such a controversial opinion. Cancel me now, Twitter. But we always think about things like this. And some people have great ideas like donating money and trying to fly over there and maybe giving in some relief efforts. Others think protesting on college campuses is a great idea. And I'm not here to say it is or it isn't because based on circumstances, you cannot fly to all these different countries and do these same things there because it might result in you being someone who is no longer on this earth and we don't want any of that. But it stands to reason that you need to understand that if you are going to protest arguably so annoyingly that you interrupt people's day, task, jobs, or fourth option, you have to understand people are going to be annoyed by you and not want to support you and not want to deal with you. You can try to use any of the buzzwords under the sun, but in reality, it ain't gonna fucking help you. And it makes it worse when one of your representatives is going around and trying to disrespect and refute the stories of people being locked into rooms because you motherfuckers want to send a message that war needs to stop by locking janitors in the fucking room. Do you feel like it was right to hold three of the janitor workers hostage with inside of the building? I think that's a really false narrative. That's what they, the janitors are saying, that they weren't allowed to leave. I, I think that that's a really false narrative. Even if the janitors are saying that, you're saying that that's not true. I think that it's a really false narrative that the students took anyone hostage. How do you feel about some of the Jewish students saying that they don't feel safe here on campus? I think that this is also a really false narrative that's being promoted. Do you think October 7th and the attack that happened is a false narrative? Do you believe that some of the women were... I just came back. One, one so more. this is what happened. Can you get out of my face, please? So, so this is what you you see at these these protests. Once you get into the nitty gritty of what happened on October the seventh, of women, um, what's happening there? They they deny what happened. Uh, as you know, that is is actually factual now that the uh, janitorial workers were blocked inside of the building. And anytime you bring that up, the Jewish cause, the Jewish people, the kids that feel unsafe on campus, they deny the reality of it, guys. It also is a little bit concerning that one of your representatives will get in front of cameras, maybe even in front of a wide audience, and subtly but not so subtly demand food for all the protesters because it's a human right type of thing. Why should the university be obligated to provide food to people who have taken over a building? Uh, well, for, first of all, we're saying that they're obligated to provide food to students who pay for a meal plan here. But you mentioned that there was a request to, that food and water be brought in, unless I misunderstood. To allow it to be brought in. I mean, well, I guess it's ultimately a question of what kind of community and obligation Columbia feels it has to its students. Um, do you want students to die of dehydration and starvation or get severely ill, even if they disagree with you? If the answer is no, then you should allow basic, I mean, it's crazy to say because we're on an Ivy League campus, but this is like basic humanitarian aid we're asking for. Like, could people please have a glass of water? I almost fell on the floor laughing. So you've been violating property, you've been refusing to leave, and your great clapback is, hey, we paid for a meal plan, somebody bring us a cup of water. But they, they, they did put themselves in that 
very deliberately in that situation and in that position. So it, it seems like you're sort of saying, we want to be revolutionaries, we want to take up this building, now would you please bring us food and water? And Nobody's asking them to bring anything. Every, we're, we're asking them to not violently stop us from bringing they, in basic they humanitarian doing, aid. They're stopping the delivery of food? I, we are looking for a commitment from them that they will not stop oh, it. But they haven't stopped it yet. We, well, I don't. I'm not. I don't know to what extent it has been attempted, but we're looking for a commitment. Y'all remember all those people who wanted white individuals or white passing individuals to be on the front lines and help out with things like this? This should be your example to either rethink that or never ask for help from individuals who are in their early 20s to help deal with any situations regarding media because they're not the best equipped for this. Dumbasses never really seem to get that things don't really pan out the way you think just because you watch those live action Disney movies at four o'clock in the morning back in 2009. It actually works a little bit different in the real world. There are going to be people who see you protest and want to help you because you're standing out there for hours, if not days, you're not showering, you smell like weed and dirt, and some people want to come in, bring some water and bring some food. But when you're looking at officials and demanding that the people at the place you're protesting and stopping people from working and annoying the fuck out of some individuals, and in some cases stopping other students from going in and learning, you go to them and say, hey, this is a human right, provide for us, no, fuck no, objectively no. It could be their choice and if they choose to do it, great. Y'all got some food coming in that you probably gonna have to pay for later because let's be honest, college finds a way to fuck us all at some point. Or you have to come to the realization that, yo, these people are not about to sit here and listen to you after you wasted their time, you annoyed them, you pissed them off and you've stopped people from doing what they need to do throughout the day and you turn around and say, can I have some food please? No. Fuck you. And it stands to reason what I've always been saying. Activists suck because they don't know what the fuck they doing. They don't know how to articulate their point without costing themselves opportunities, jobs, time at school, or another option that is somehow detrimental to them because they refuse to understand that their actions do have consequences. And in some situations, we could sit here and talk about what's justified and what's not. But in these specific ones that I have brought up in this video, Fuck you motherfuckers, because how dare you have the balls to be so confident. But let me know, do you think it's a human right to provide food to a bunch of people who are actively being annoying to other people? Do you have full support and are you going to go to all these different campuses across the country and you're going to support them by bringing them food and water because it's their human right to have that after annoying the fuck out of so many people? Are you going to be so bold to suggest that, you know, in these motherfuckers is the option. I wouldn't do that because much like Santa Claus, you can praise him via Twitter, but he was tooting his ass up in jail for what he did. So let's not go that route. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.